if you say an illustrator, I think it might confuse people as to exactly what you do. If you say a cartoonist, they believe they know what you do automatically. So I usually just uh, say cartoonist. I grew up in New York City. Uh, my family moved there when I was four years old. Both my parents were artists, but it was comics really that uh, made me want to draw. And I do remember, even as a young kid, a certain satisfaction, a, th a certain thrill that uh, making a good drawing gave me. It took me a number of years doing comics till I realized what should have been obvious from the beginning, which is the art in comics is not the drawing and it's not the writing. It's the storytelling. That's what's unique and that's in the end uh, the most powerful aspect of comics. I do other things as well. I do illustrations um, that are used in just about every application from t-shirts to CD covers to medical illustrations, um, architectural renderings, uh, website design, pretty much the full gamut. You'll see a range of styles in my sketchbooks. Um, each style is adopted for a particular job. Um, each job has a different demand and something different needed to satisfy it. And so I very consciously will uh, adopt different rendering techniques or different drawing styles as I feel is, is appropriate for that particular job. My sketchbook is different. There I'm basically doing whatever I want, but over the years my style has changed as I've, as I've experimented um, one way or another. I'd say um, still it's different types of illustration which influence my work. One thing I have noticed is that I seem to go back earlier and earlier in illustration history for my influences. Uh, somehow I was born drawing as if I had matured in the 1950s. In other words, what was current in artistic styles never seemed to be of any interest to me. Now there's nothing that excites me much more than comic strips done in 1910 or 1920, illustrations done from the early 1900s to, the, to about 1920. I think I've taken something from just about everyone out there. I take advantage of the fact that I have moved to a part of the country where I can have a very physical life and during the winter that's limited in the warm weather it's just wonderful in fact I have to be at work all that much harder to be disciplined and stay inside and stay at the drawing board but I transport myself on my bicycle and that is just a great pleasure to me. I mean I, it doesn't make a lot of sense why getting on this contraption and, and pedaling is, is so pleasurable, but it is. Um, I haven't done it that much this last summer, but I sometimes pack my sketchbook in my backpack and head off into the hills somewhere and draw from the countryside. It's funny, I have a very ambivalent feeling towards American pop culture, but my Achilles heel is movies. <laughs> you, you know, even I get suckered into the Hollywood blockbusters every now and then. Movies are this beautiful balance of art and escapism and each movie has a possibility for both and the best ones I think balance balance those two. How can you go wrong? It's, it's what you're, you're after, right? <laughs> the, the elevation that comes with art and the, the pure enjoyment of escaping your world for a while. It's a, it's a job in the sense that I try to make money off it. I'm horrible <laughs> at it, but that's, that is a goal. Um, you know, the, the, the Latin root of amateur means for the love of it. When I consider am I an amateur or am I a professional, there's a part of me that's trying to protect this kind of innocence where the love of what I do is not robbed because it's something I have to do. Um, I, the most enjoyable jobs are the ones which have the least pressure on you to conform to a set of expectations. I've, I've tried to find a, a word to describe what I get from it, but satisfaction doesn't really 
um, describe it. Uh, maybe the best way of, of talking about it is, is um, by mentioning this observation I made after a few years. When you devote a large chunk of your life and, and your energies to a pursuit in any particular direction, um, the further you go into it, the more captivating it is to you. And there's some opening, so, some revelation, and it just draws you further in. You just, it, it allows you to see even a greater and a deeper mystery you know, at the core of whatever it is you're doing, music or art or science. And I think after a while, there's really no turning back. You're just, you just keep wanting to go further and further into it because this mystery keeps unfolding almost day after day.